that knocking at your door? It's S, you know the name. He be rapping like you one of the best. Got the Superman flow, I put the S on my chest, and I'll be rocking with We unredacted Your Honor, them so we could get context. No, that's how it's in evidence. That's how it's right. in evidence. Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard, there is no question pending, and I would appreciate it if you wouldn't be making argument to the jury. Sorry, I thought you would ask me about it. No, I didn't ask you about anything. Emotional damage. From what I've lived through, from what I've survived, I'm not sitting in this courtroom snickering. I'm not sitting in this courtroom laughing, smiling, and making snide jokes. I'm not. This is horrible. This is painful. And this is humiliating for any human being to go through. And perhaps it's easy to forget that, but I'm a human being. Tony <laughs> has taken enough of my voice. Wish I fucking thought I could have kids with you. You're a fucking kid yourself. Fake suck my dick. Go be a real married man who deals with your shit the way that a man does. You're the most spoiled fucking <laughs> You got everybody out here almost oh, full, but it don't right, last you're long. You're right. I've been here a lot longer you're than right. me. You're right. You gotta figure it out. No. <laughs> you're a joke. I have the right to tell my story. I have the right to say what happened to you. I have the right to my voice and my name. the world, Johnny. I joined up. Man, I'm a victim too, Jonathan Bond. And yes. I know it's a fair fight. It seems how many people believe or side with you. He took it long enough. I hope to get my voice back. Stop it. Get some help. How did Miss Heard's actions on May 27th, 2016 affect you? Changed everything. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Oh, it didn't change everything? Right. <laughs> you sure if you could wait till the objection, please? Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Tourette's. What, if any, injuries do you have in this photograph? The eye's a little bit bugged out, if you will. How did that happen? If you disagreed... Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Depp, specifically, how did the injury in this photograph occur? I'm sure it hit me. Is that better? You've also said that with respect to women that you want to be with, I need, I want, I take, haven't you? Equally as ludicrous, no. Can you pull up DX883, please? You can pull it what you like. I've never said those words. There's not enough hubris in you to say eight, anything eight, like eight, eight. You want to see the whole thing unredacted? We can look at that, too. No, it's because you could have typed it up last night. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you tried to get her fired from the Aquaman after the temporary restraining order, didn't you? Um, well, what is related to the story about me getting it just her? yes, yes or no, Mr. Depp. I can't please you with a yes or a no every single it's time. A, it's a yes or no question, Mr. Depp. You tried to get Miss Heard fired, didn't you? Answer's no. Willy Wonka, it doesn't matter to you. You see him in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing his process of speed? <laughs> Do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, I did not. You know this case is being televised, right? I am aware that there are cameras. So this gets you your 15 minutes of fame, doesn't Objection, it? Your Honor. Argumentative. I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though so you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, don't you think? Oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Mr. Depp calls Kate Moss to the stand. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. It had been a brainstorm. I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. He came running back to help me, carried me to my room and got me medical attention. I don't hesitate. I don't wait. I just, in my head, instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. Mr. Knight, you are a pretty big fan of Johnny Depp, aren't you? I am not. To be honest. <laughs> Honor, uh, for the record, I've known Mr. Tobin for several years. I meant no snarkiness uh, toward him. Well, you're just a snarky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Depp objected to Dr. Jacob's notes as hearsay. Um, I have some more. As long as you don't just keep turning every page in that book. No, I'm, I'm not, not staying for that. It is not. Okay. Did you ever notice anyone visiting Amber Heard at night while Mr. Depp was away? During the time that I was living there? Yes. Yes. Was it more than 10? Yes. Was it more than 20? Yes. Was it more than 30? Yes. Was it more than 50? 
again, I, I, I can't really speculate. Did Rocky tell you while Amber was still married to Johnny Depp that the three of them, Amber Heard, Elon Musk, and Cara De Delevingne, spent the night together? Yes. What did he say? Hey! Oh. What, if anything, did Rob Cowan say to you specifically about the chemistry between Amber Heard and Jason Momoa? Just the, the fact that they didn't really have a lot of chemistry together. And it's sort of movie magic and editorial, the ability to sort of put performances together and with the magic of, you know, a great score and, and how you put the pieces together, you can, you can fabricate sort of that chemistry. Um, and so I think in, in, at the end of the day, I think if you watch the movie, they looked like they had great chemistry, but I just know that through the course of the post-production that it took a lot of effort to get there. Because it's like, what makes a movie star a movie star? Like, you, you, you know it when you see it, and the chemistry wasn't there. This is about the fingers. I understand that. But, but my I, question is... I think it's important that they understand that. This is the time for me to ask you questions. Your counsel will have the ability to rehabilitate you and ask you questions on redirect. Right now, let's try my question. Okay. You can't definitively say what caused the injury to Mr. Depp's fingers? Yes or no? No. Do you recall? I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, what, if anything, did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Ms. Hurd's acting coach, Christina Sexton, testified that Ms. Hurd has difficulty crying when she is acting. You saw it. Ms. Hurd sobbing without tears while spinning elaborate, exaggerated, fantastical accounts of abuse and everything going on in her mind almost a decade prior while enduring that abuse. He acknowledges that he said those things and he said things that he shouldn't have. But using bad language and colorful humor does not mean that you are a violent abuser. Consider what the true purpose of the article. It was time to be released at the same time as Aquaman, and it was time to coincide with her announcement of her ambassadorship at the ACLU for women's rights. Well, isn't that convenient? This is the real Miss Heard, the one in the audio recordings. Okay, I'm sorry. Not the one you saw in this courtroom. Mr. Depp, what has it been like for you to listen to Ms. Hurd's testimony at this trial? It's insane. I don't think anyone enjoys having to uh, split themselves open and tell the truth. But um, there are times when one just simply has to because it's gotten out of control. Horrible, ridiculous, humiliating, ludicrous, painful, savage, unimaginably brutal, cruel, and all. False. All false. No human being is perfect, certainly not. But I have never in my life committed sexual battery, physical abuse, all these outlandish, outrageous stories of me committing these things and living with it for six years and waiting to be able to bring truth out. So this is not uh, easy for any of us. I know that. No matter what happens, I did get here, and I did tell the truth, and I have spoken up for what I've been carrying on my back reluctantly for six years.